Richard has come to the Great Swamp, where a monument was erected in 1906 to commemorate the battle. Hello. Are you John? John. I'm Richard. Richard. How Very are you? pleased to meet you. Hi. Nice to meet you. you. Hi. Do you want to get in? Oh, yes. We'll go around. Thank you. John Brown is a member of the Narragansett tribe and historic preservation director. We're about 300 yards away from the actual encampment. Where the battle, you, where the battle happened? Yeah. So I only learned two hours ago that my great times eight grandfather was in this battle. This was not a battle or a war. This was a massacre. Yeah. The combatants that they were looking for were not here. The people that were here in this forest were the old men, old women, women and children. Mm -hmm. They came in with uh, several thousand troops. When they could not gain entrance into the compound, they then burned it and killed the people in there. There, were, there was none of the people that were what you would consider soldiers no. were here. None of the, av the actual defenders were here. They were on a campaign in, in the Boston area. Why do you think then that when the militiamen, including my great times eight grandfather, got here, why do you think when they realized that the, the people they were looking for weren't here, why did they carry on anyway and kill and destroy the place? Their purpose was to colonize. And when you colonize, you remove the indigenous species, no matter what those species are, mm. and you replace them with that what you bring. And we were in the way of them warning the land. It was an attempt to break our life cycle. And using terms of, of this and the last century, would you describe it as genocide, what happened here that day? Oh, certainly. Yeah. That was the attempt. Yeah. They didn't come in in the middle of the day. No. They snuck in in the middle of the night, and they used a traitor to do it. So you tell me how you'd look at it. If I came to your house with all your family there and your extended family there, in the middle of the night and said, come out. And I came there with a bunch of guys with guns. Mm. And when you come out and say, hey, well, I'm not coming out there. You got guns, go away. I start shooting. Mm. And when that doesn't get the job done, I'd start burning. How would you look at me? Mm. I'm the direct descendant of one of the more senior soldiers who came down here that day and, and did what they did. Uh, and you're a direct descendant of some of the people who, who were, were here, here too, who were absolutely here. So we're, we're looking at each other. Um, separated by about 350 years, but through the same genetic material. Yes, exactly yeah. right. Right. Across the face of time. Absolutely. So it makes me feel a, a little guilty after all this time. Uh, and I'm not being politically correct in saying that. It does. I mean, I do feel a sense of visceral guilt that that happened to your people. How do you feel about me? You're not a bad person. Hmm. And you cannot change what was done back then. No. The only thing that we can do in this time, in this place, is attempt to live our lives in such a way that we give back to those who gave to us. Mm. And that's what we do. Mm. Why should you be my enemy and why should I be yours? If I could conjure up the, the spirit, the, the person of, of my ancestor right here and now, would you be in a position to, to offer him forgiveness for what happened? Would you understand possibly that he was in a, himself in a bind, in a position where he felt he had no alternatives as a, as a simple, not a politician, just a simple militiaman told to do what he was told to do, the old I I think you've said it in uh, a most eloquent way that um, these people did, really didn't have a whole lot of choices. Hmm. They either were in for that penny or they were in for that pound. And no matter whether it was a pound or a penny, they were in hmm. and there was no getting out. Hmm. This is an interesting one. I mean, I've just spoken to a modern day historian whose take on what happened here was effectively that it was a battle. But from the Indian perspective, it was just a slaughter and it was genocide uh, and it was cold-blooded murder. And if that's true, then my, my direct ancestor was part of something pretty horrible. Having said that, that tends to be what happens when there are great population migrations anywhere in the world. You get these terrible clashes between the indigenous population and the incomers, and, and bad stuff happens. And I can't really, uh, I can't make a moral judgment against 
against my great 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 grandfather at this at this distance. It, it doesn't seem reasonable. Uh, this this was pretty bad, though. I have to say.